Okay, so now I'll teach you how to install and configure your new plugin. First, you want to go over to plugins and click add new. From there, you'll upload and browse your folder to actually find where you save your plugin. Press install. Once you've installed, go ahead and activate your plugin. From there, you'll be asked to enter in your license code. Your license code comes with your purchase. Now, after you've given the code, you want to reactivate your plugin. So we can deactivate. and then click on activate again. This is just to confirm that your license code was taken. Once everything is activated properly, you want to go over to your settings area and click share to unlock. If you click on statistics, you can actually check your total network clicks. Now, there's a couple of things you'll want to get yourself familiarized with. You can choose whether or not to lock the home page. You can also choose if you want to display this plugin pop up every couple of days or every couple of views and then set that number. You can also set the unlock time which is presently set to 20 seconds. The header text which is currently shared to unlock. The background color and your affiliate ID. Your affiliate ID is given when you purchase this plugin. Now let's go to post. Let's go to edit. And go ahead and click activate share to unlock this post page. Once you've done that, click update. Now, editing a single post or single page is pretty simple. You just press that click button at the bottom. Now, let's say you have several posts or several pages, and it'd be a time saver if you could do them all at once. Well, you can. Let's go to post. Highlight all of them. And then click edit. Apply. And then you'll be able to see a couple of things. One thing that you'll see is all your listings for each individual post or page. For those that you like an action applied to, simply make sure that the check mark is in the box. If you don't want it applied to, click the check mark and it'll go away. So for example purposes, let's say we want everything to be applied to this one action, which is apply all posts or pages to activate or actively use share to unlock. Simply put enable. Update. And now all your posts or all your pages have been updated at one time. And as you see over to this right, share to unlock is on on both of these. Let's click one of the posts that we've locked. And as you see, the pop up becomes available. Your visitors have a variety of choices that they can use to share your website with others. Once confirming a share, they're able to come back to your website and view the post that was previously locked. 
I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and it's gotten you familiar with using Share to Unlock.